Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Rob and today I will be talking about um, a TV show um, that had five seasons, 110 episodes called Renegade. Um, the, so um, it stars Lorenzo Lamas, um, Branscombe Richam. Richmond, I'm not sure if I'm uh, saying that right. It'll be in the uh, description below. Um, Kathleen Kingma, uh, Stephen J. Canal are the main characters in the series. So, uh, Reno Rain, it starts out Reno Rain's played by Lorenzo Lamas, is. Uh, a San Diego police officer who is uh, doing an IA sting in Bay City um, trying to uh, find the bad cops in the uh, police department. So it starts out where Reno is on the beach with his girlfriend um, they're swimming, they're having fun, um, they're saying a little bit more longer and it'll be over. I guess he would, after um, he testified and all that stuff, he was planning on retiring um, and marrying his fiance. Um, and all that stuff. So then it goes to a scene where they're in an office with his best friend Harry, who is a district attorney, and uh, Lieutenant Donald Dutch Nixon, um, played by Stephen J. Canal. Um, he's given all the information that he's got, um, along with the names of the bad cops um, that he's going to testify against. Little did he know that. Lieutenant Dutch Dixon <clears throat> was in on it and um, after he you know, gave all this information um, as they're getting ready to leave Harry's like um, I'm really worried about him uh, I think he needs some protection Dutch was like alright I can arrange some protection where are you staying um, and all that stuff so he informed on him um, where he's staying. Um, then it goes to where um, Buzz, I, I guess um, Buzzy Burrell um, was getting um, Hog Adams released out of prison. Um, said he need you know they needed to bring him downtown to get some information uh, basically hired him to go kill Reno um, so hog Adams breaks into his hotel uh, ends up shooting shooting at them um, gets Reno's fiance instead um, and all that stuff I can't remember if Reno got any shots off at Hog, whatnot. Um, I know Hog ran off. Then Reno went out the back door, took his fiance to the hospital. Um, Buzzy Burrell, one of the cops, came in and um, Dutch shot him with Reno's backup gun. Um, now framing Reno for. Um, the murder um, next scene they show him they're at the hospital um, and here Val's in a coma which is his fian Reno's fiance uh, they now Her Harry gives him some money gives him some cards um, tells him he needs to lay low until they can prove his innocence and all that stuff and um, all that stuff so he takes off and then Donald uh, 
Dutch Dixon shows up at this house and rings the doorbell and then appears Kathleen Kidmont or Cheyenne Phillips played by Kathleen Kidmont um, and then Bobby Sixkiller played by Grant Branscom Richard. So Dutch Dixon hires him. Um, they go at you know they go take the job. They go after him. Um, Bobby Six Killers and his sister is a bounty hunter, bounty hunting team. They got um, Bobby Six Killers company, um, Six Killer Enterprises. Uh, so they go after him and. Um, at some point they show the scene where um, Reno is catching up to Hog Adams, catches him, and then um, Bobby Six Killer catches them both. Uh, they're driving down the road in the RV, um, they're talking, and Reno's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, they unhandcuffed him. Um, Reno tries explaining he's innocent. Um, he was framed. Um, of course, they're not going to believe him. So, Reno's like, I got to use the bathroom. And Bobby's like, this rig doesn't have a bathroom where the bathroom should be. There's a whole electrical stuff for the satellite dishes and all that stuff. So, they pull over. Um... Let him go to the bathroom. Um, then the uh, as the biker there's as he's doing that, bikers are coming. Uh, after as they're going like to try to catch him, bikers are coming. Um, of Hog Adams friends, they get in the RV. They take off in the RV. Um, they're going down the road. They're trying. The bikers are trying to run him them off. And uh, they ended up knocking uh, one of the bikers off the bike. So Reno ends up taking that bike and ends up going after them to try to help save them and all that stuff. So. They, the bikers end up throwing oil on the windshield. Cheyenne Phillips turns the wipers on and ends up not being able to see. So they end up pulling over. Um, Bobby uh, got away. Um, they ended up taking Cheyenne and all that stuff. So... Uh, Bobby got shot. So I think at this point on, um, especially on later in the episode, I'm not going to go through the whole, um, basically episode with right there with Reno helping him get away and then going back to help um, get his sister. Um, I think Re uh, Bobby has an inclination that know he might be down the truth um, he ends up uh, working for Bobby um, one of the things um, is is they ended up getting a bounty at the end um, cashing it in uh, Bobby gave him his like percentage um, what Bobby thought he deserved and Reno told them to you know, send it to the hospital. So, as of that point on in the series, for the whole five seasons, um, Reno was a, working for Bobby as a bounty hunter, um, going as by the name as Vince Black, um, and riding his nice Harley Davidson. Uh, soft tail as you'll probably see in the thumbnail um or i'm gonna put a picture in somewhere in this video 
um, maybe at the beginning um, of the video. So at this point on, he's going as Vince Black, as Bounty Hunter, catches his bounties. Um, Bobby or Cheyenne ends up showing up, um, depending on where they are, taking them to the cops. Uh, there's a couple of cops um, and people he came across that ended up figuring out who he was in one of the episodes and all that stuff and realizing that he's a good guy and doesn't they don't arrest him uh, there's this one person Hog Adams that he goes after uh, I'm trying to find uh, because that one episode they found out that he had tapes because Hog Adams wanted to record everything because he couldn't truck trust um, Dutch Dixon and all that stuff because he knew Dutch Dixon was bad and all that stuff so that was about five seasons um, really good epithel you know, series you know Reno's going and trying to find you know prove his innocence Trying to find out in the atoms. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, one thing about Stephen J. Canal is not only was he an actor in it, he also wrote the show. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you on IDMB uh, in a few minutes. Um, that I'm going to show you how I found out like you can go and uh, click on like a person and uh, you can select I'm sure most people know this but you can select um, you know when you go select on his name and go film I'm sure you can you know do it as actor do it as directed, you can do it as produced, um, as self, um, socks. So, when I selected on, um, uh, I can't remember which it was, um, but when he produced, he produced it like five, I want to say like five episodes he produced, um, and then, um, he directed um, seasons three through five. Um, uh, Lorenzo Lamas did. Um, so the only one of the main characters that was in it for um, pretty much all five seasons. Um, obviously, uh, Lorenzo Ramos, Reno Reigns was in all 110. Um, Bobby Six Killer, Branson Richam was in a majority of, uh, those 110 episodes. I don't think he was in every single one. Um, Kathleen Kingmott, um, but, uh, what was only till season four uh she left in season four was hardly in any of the seasons four um i guess there was some issues um she left because um at some point during before the series or during the series uh her and lorenzo lamas was married and then they split up and I think in like 92 or 93 they split up um, and I guess um, in 96 when season 4 came out uh, they got there was some issues I guess between Kathleen Kinmont and 
his new girlfriend. Um, so I guess she, I don't know whether she decided to leave or they um, got rid of her. I don't know. So she was out of it at season four. Um, Stephen J. Canal, who played Dutch Dixon, wasn't in it for the whole uh, season. Um, so, yeah, I was watching this uh, when I was younger. Um, uh, came out in 92. Um, so, I wasn't, like, young, young, but... Um, so, anyways, I was uh, watching it. But I never saw... I uh, was able to see all the episodes. I wasn't able to see, you know, like, how it ended. So... Uh, when I ended up finding it on Amazon Prime, I started, um, because I subscribed to that, I started watching it, uh, I got to about season three, and then, for some reason, season three wasn't on there, um, then I came across, uh, I did the search to see if it was on anything else on the Roku player, um, uh, find a, a couple other, like, apps it was on, uh, one of them being Tubi. Tubi had all five seasons, so I started uh, watching it on Tubi where I left off for like season three. Um, watching, binge watching every separate episode it took me about I want to say maybe two months to uh, watch it in my free time. Um, maybe a little bit longer. So I was watching it. Um, so he's going after a lot, you know, a lot of people on his Harley. Um, I'm trying to, you know, collecting bounties, um, getting paid, um, all that stuff. So in the final episode, uh, I thought, uh, th thought for sure, you know, we're gonna find out if he, you know, cleared his name. Um, however, when the season ended. Uh, all right. Well, the, the season ended. So did the series. Um, they were a lot closer. Um, a lot of people, I guess, you know, they were open, reopening this case because they suspected his innocence. Um, due to information that came to light. Um, and um. Well, at one point in the um, at one point in the series, in the meantime, um, middle of the season, I forgot which season it was. Um, his wife had came to Reno um, to try to help and with information of his bad doings. Um, they tried to set it up, but I guess Dutch was monitoring and had. Um, cameras and bugs in his own house to listen to her whoever she was talking to and see everything she did um, so Dutch ended up killing his wife and framing Reno for that um, at this point he was this was after he became a US Marshal so his wife was saying, kept saying uh, Dutch's name. And he wasn't thinking anything of it. Uh, and he was just thinking he was calling, she was calling out to him and all that stuff. Um, when she was trying to say uh, Dutch did it. So in the last episode, what in the last episode, um, Reno got caught by um, Dutch's boss, um, the U.S. Marshal. Um, didn't take him to like jail or anything and all that stuff. And um, they went to like an old dirt field. Where they ended up talking, uh, Reno explains how he is framed, and um, 
all the information and then uh, Dutch's boss the US Marshal was like my uh, agent suspected him of uh, open like a uh, prostitution ring or something like that and all that stuff so uh, they make a truce they make a pact to um, get his inf you know get this information out um, also using Dutch's son uh, um, at the end of the episode they had basically um, Donald Dutch Dixon on the run um, unfortunately they never showed um, showed if he got cleared, you know, all that stuff, but all in all, it was a good show, um, now I'm gonna go on to showing you on IDMB, uh, the cool things I found out, so give me a minute, and I'll be right back. A few moments later. So, Here's the synopsis. After a crooked cop, Lieutenant Dutch Dixon kills his girlfriend and frames for murder. Reno Reigns escapes from jail and goes on the run. So when you go to all cast, um, you can go to see all. And then these are all the characters. Uh, you got Lorenzo Lamas, um, Bobby Six Killer. Um, Stephen J. Canal, and um, when you go on to Lorenzo Lamas, um, you can go to filmography, and you can go to the director, and he directed two, um, a TV show and a movie, and then you click on there. And you can see that in season two, he directed Sheriff Reno episode on episode 19. Uh, episode uh, season three, he ep uh, directed uh, 15 uh, episode 15, Stalker's Moon, and then episode 19 of Family Ties. Uh, exit uh, season four, you can see he directed Hard Evidence on season episode 19, and. On episode 17, he directed Sex, Lies, and Activewear in season 5. Um, and then you can go back and uh, go to producer. And then you can find him in Renegade. You can hit on that. And you can see here he directed um or produced i rather set um every episode of season three four and five um stephen j canal he uh who plays um dutch dixon um he created and writed wrote this show um uh, so this is all the shows, um, but when you collect on his name and you go to filmography, um, you can see, you go to writer, he uh, wrote 22 Jump Street, 21 Jump Street, The A-Team, um, Hunter, I believe he, Renegade. I believe he wrote the original 21 Jump Street. Yep, he wrote the read uh wrote the original. Um but this is the only mo TV show that I know of that I've watched um that he wrote that he was actually in. Um so he plays a corrupt cop um who later becomes a marshal and um I thought that was a pretty cool feature. Um, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, there you go. 
so there you have there you have it um that was um um me talking about a uh, really good tv show um i think you should uh, go check it out um and watch it you can definitely watch it on um tubi it's a free app you can watch some of them on prime video um but i would highly suggest if you got like a roku player or a tablet um that you watch your episodes on uh tv on i would highly suggest downloading um the tubi app you can find a lot of good shows on there and um all that stuff so i um once again the tv shows renegade um five seasons 110 episodes really good show um definitely would watch it again i'm kind of disappointed that um they didn't uh show reno being um cleared and all that stuff but i still like the show i still definitely would watch it again i still recommend it um so i hope you like this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a great day